Welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With the easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Now today, I'm gonna to be talking about a question that I get often, and that is what is the difference between NFPA 13 and NFPA 13D? So we're gonna hop into NFPA Link here, and on my dashboard, we see that I've got NFPA 13D, the 2022 edition, and NFPA 13, the 2022 edition, on my favorites here. Now we can see from the title, NFPA 13 is the standard for the installation of sprinkler systems, while NFPA 13D is the standard for the installation of sprinkler systems in one and two family dwellings and manufactured homes. So just from the title, we can see that 13D is focused on one and two family dwellings and manufactured homes, while 13 is just the broad installation of sprinkler systems. So let's go in and take a look. I like to look at the purposes of codes and standards, kind of see what their purpose is. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and compare both 13 and 13D. So if we go into chapter one, we go to the purpose. And we see that the purpose of this standard is to provide a reasonable degree of protection for life and property from fire through the standardization of design, installation, and testing requirements for sprinkler systems. Okay, so that's NFPA 13. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my reference pane so we can go ahead and compare that to NFPA 13D. So we're gonna go into 13D, we're gonna find the purpose here, and we're gonna read the purpose, but first I'm gonna open up my reference pane here so I have the 13 versus the 13D. So let's look at 13D. The purpose of the standard shall be to provide a sprinkler system that aids in the detection and control of residential fires and thus provides improved protection against injury and life loss. And a sprinkler system shall be designed and installed in accordance with the standard to prevent flashover, which is total involvement, um, in the room of fire origin where sprinklered to improve the chance for occupants to escape or be evacuated. So we go back to 13. 13 is looking at providing a reasonable degree of protection for life and property. But looking at the purpose for NFPA 13D is we're just looking at uh, protection against injury and life loss. And here we're trying to improve the chance for occupants to escape or be evacuated. So that's the main difference that we see in an NFPA 13D system versus NFPA 13 system. NFPA 13, uh, and 13D are both looking for life safety, but 13D is also adding in that it's property protection. We're looking to protect the property as well, while 13D is just designed to give the occupants of a home enough time to get out of the home before flashover occurs. And that is the main purpose. And typically these systems will be able to either prevent flashover from occurring at all, or even suppress a fire in a home. But Again, the main purpose of NFPA 13D is that life safety, while a 13 system is providing both property protection and life safety. And the reason why we're just looking at life safety with a 13D system is we're trying to make the system somewhat cost effective in order so we can get these installed in more homes. So we're looking at just providing that life safety and not the additional cost required typically that comes with also providing property protection. So I hope that provides some insight into the differences in the purpose between an NFPA 13 sprinkler system and an NFPA 13D sprinkler system. For more information on how NFPA Link can give you the knowledge that you need to get the job done right, go ahead and visit nfpa.org link.